Hello dear Aries, this is your tarot card reading for June 2018. This is a general forecast um, and let's get started and I'm ready to tell you a story today. Okay, so um, the general energy for June 2018 for Aries is um, the element of Earth. Um, Queen of Pentacles, this lady um, is a very in touch with her um she's very down to earth um she knows how to run a business from start to finish to success etc and her energies will guide you all throughout june 2018 baby doll um she is a very wise woman she will appear um wiser um uh you know beyond her age kind of thing and she's here to give you some advice about your health about your wealth and your welfare as well okay anything to do with career running a business you go to her and she will have an answer for you okay let's talk about your past dear aries um aries you have the um four of swords in reverse what this basically means is that um you're coming out of a respite here baby doll i think um the last couple of months has been kind of slow for you for a reason primarily because um you were in the past you were dealing with a very very difficult situation I can sense um, school here at higher education and it took a, 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 a and your body took a toll from all of this studying from all of the hard work that you've done and you're just kind of coming out uh, from this respite okay um, this is manifesting your past which is a good thing I think now you're coming back refresh energize and if it's not to do with higher learning it has something to do with the work that you do okay the work that you do out there you might be a nurse you might be anything to do with kind of um in a, in the profession of healing okay doctors naturopaths etc nurses physiotherapists occupational therapists in the health sector that's what i'm sensing here i feel that you've taken a break for a little bit because you were just a little bit overwhelmed as well but now you're kind of back you're energized, you're ready to work, you're ready to mingle, you're ready to um, accept kind of new challenges that will be facing you for the month of June 2018. Let's talk about your present situation. Your present situation is the King of Pentacles in reverse. Um, I, I feel that this could either be you. I feel that there is some kind that you you have earth energies in your sign as well it's just that um this might be you i think it's you kind of expecting a specific outcome relating to finances relating to higher learning as well um and you're expecting um uh expecting this news to come out but you know what at the present right now i can see and i can sense as well that there is this very slow moving energy um, and this this news that you're kind of waiting for it could even be related to um, 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 you're maybe you're looking for some kind of epif epiphany you maybe you have been meditating for quite some time to resolve an issue to provide a solution to a problem to overcome an obstacle you've been waiting for this message it's just it's just it's not manifesting for june 2018 right now not manifesting in the present but fear not this too shall come to pass um the Taurian energy or the earth energy are very slow moving um just um just settle down slow down a little bit as well and look up chin up things will eventually go into your favor okay just be patient my love present let's talk about your present Ooh. what i see here is childlike joy coming into your life if you are partnered and if you have been trying to have children this is a very good omen card maybe there is a young person that is around you that's kind of galloping into your life um that um reminds you a little bit of 
the childlike or the the joy of being a children etc and you know what this the situation right here in the near future it's actually encouraging you to live your life to live a healthy life be in control of your emotions nurturing your inner child and ensuring that um, the connections and the bonds that you build with the people that are around you remains positive at all times. Very positive card. Okay, let's talk about your obstacle. Dun, dun, dun. Judgment. Major Arcana card. Let me tell you a little bit of a story for judgment. As you can see, and uh, as you can see in the symbols and the depictions here in this card, we have this angel high at the top. She's he or she is blowing the trumpet, sounding the trumpet, and we have these mortals kind of naked underneath her, and they're all kind of like, "Save me, save me! Am I worthy being saved?" Right. So my question to you, dear Aries, is that if it was Judgment Day today, are you worthy of being saved? So let that marinate in your thoughts for a little bit. If it was Judgment Day today, are you worthy of being saved? Okay? So the Judgment card is manifesting in your life right now because it is reminding you to look at your past, look at your past deeds. Okay? Assess your past deeds, look at them, and look within you and find the answers. Okay, are you worthy of being saved? What have you done so far? Enable for you to move on up your life path. Okay, let that marinate in your thoughts for a little bit, right? See, the judgment card is here to remind us to forgive ourselves, right? No man on earth is perfect. We've made a lot of mistakes. I've made a lot of mistakes in my past. But you know what? The main message of the judgment card is forgiveness. Forgiveness of your past sins. Okay? And learning from those mistakes that you've done in the past to better manifest a brighter present and a brighter future for yourself. Okay? Very positive obstacle card. It's a very um, life-changing card. It also, it's also a very questioning card, okay? It wants you to look within, to look deep within, and find answers and learn to forgive not only yourself, but forgiving the others that have wronged you in the past. Okay, dear Aries? Pay close attention to this card. All right. The energies of the people that are around you is the Page of Pentacles. Okay. I'm going to warn you about this card. This is already happening right now in the present. If it's not happening in the present, it's going to happen sometime in June 2018, where the people that are around you are going to act just so immaturely. And you're going to lose your patience. You know what, Aries, you're a fire sign. You're the epitome of passions and ambitions. And when you get pissed off, man, you burn, baby. You burn freaking connections, bonds, so quickly, you'll burn them into a fucking crisp. And you know what? I'm not saying that you should burn these people that are around you right now to a fucking crisp. What I'm saying is that just be mindful because these people might need, you, you might need to create space between you and these people that are coming in or this person that is, that is coming in because this person lacks the ability to control money, doesn't know how to budget, very immature, um, and they just, they, they, they still have a lot to learn. Maybe this is a person that you might need to mentor later on, right? Um, and this person right here that's kind of coming in or already in your life, you know what? They lack values, right? They might steal money from you. Um, and it's just, I'm sensing a very negative person. You know what? I'm seeing a vision right now of a person stealing from you, my dear Aries. If you're running a business, someone younger might be stealing money from you, okay? Be mindful of that piece. If they are not stealing money, they are stealing pertinent information that belongs to a company and they're making money out of it, okay? So be mindful of that piece. Warning card, baby doll. 
Your next card is, ooh la la, Seven of Cups, wow. Seven of Cups, and this is your advice card. Aries, I can't seem to shake this feeling that you're a little bit overwhelmed right now. Um, I feel that you're also extremely successful and that there is a lot of opportunities um, that is kind of right in front of you right now being presented to you by the universe. And you know what? You're having a hard time deciding on which path to take. Okay, the advice of this card is actually utilizing your intuition. You're actually really good at manifesting, um, you know, financial stability, manifesting relationships, um, and just plain manifesting in general. You have mastered um, the law of attraction per se. The law of attraction is actually quite inherent in you because you're such a strong fire sign. Um, I think the issue here is that um, there's just, you. I think you've manifested a lot. And I think this card is also um, sending a message to get in touch with your roots. You know, be humble. Look from your past to find solutions to your problems. And also having the ability to assess the present situation to better understand and to make a better, or sorry, to make a wise choice, okay? Because there's tons of choices here, okay? The universe is kind of rewarding you for all of your hard work. Aries is one of those signs that are extremely, extremely passionate individuals. They're extremely highly ambitious, okay? And because of that, because of that inherent power of law of attraction that's within them, they're just very lucky in a sense of career, anything relating to career, anything relating to um, um, uh, relationships as well. They're very lucky in that sense. But um, I feel that you need to take it down a notch a little bit in terms of manifesting and focus on one goal. Okay, so that's one of the messages of this card as well is focusing on one goal once you... Um, attain that goal and completed that goal move to the next one so that you're not getting overwhelmed here i think you're working too much like you have multiple goals and you're working at them all at the same time which is actually overwhelming you and i can understand now why this fucking card showed up here the card of respite is because you know what you're burning out baby you're manifesting too much you're working too hard and you're burning out this is why you needed this respite baby doll if you don't slow down you're gonna go back to this card again where you have to have to take a step back um reassess and take a break baby and i don't think you're gonna get there because i feel that you're such a strong astrological sign that, that i know and I, I can feel it in my gut that you'll, you'll be able to figure this out. The advice here is do one goal at a time, baby, and slow it down. Slow it down, baby. <laughs> Look at this. This is you. The Knight of Wands. When the Knight of Wands is reversed, it actually slows things down. And I was just talking about slowing things down, slowing things down here, right? So this is you. You're the Knight of Wands. You know, instead of... Um, galloping into battle without a plan, you're actually deciding to gallop into battle slowly and with a plan, okay? This is your outcome card, planning ahead, baby doll, and making sure that you have a strategic plan moving forward so that you can actually manifest a brighter future for yourself. If you're trying to manifest a, um, a relationship, if you're trying to manifest your soulmate in this lifetime, if you're trying to manifest financial stability, if you have been working hard on your passions and ambitions, baby doll, it's coming your way in June 2018. Very positive reading. Like my video, thumbs up, and um, subscribe so that you can get alerts whenever I have um, new videos every month. And uh, we shall go from there. This is your tarot reading, my dear Aries, for June 2018. Bye for now.